Hello, welcome to the video for what is volume, the camera blocking volume. Let me go ahead, I'll run our quick little example here. If you notice, there's nothing in front of me, but if I go ahead, I can walk through it and you'll notice my camera kind of jumps into the character. If I spin my camera around, you'll notice it reacts like if there was something blocking it, and that's because I'm using the camera blocking volume. Let me go ahead and turn my box back on so we can actually see it. You'll notice that basically the box, even though it has no collision, it's using the collision of the camera blocking volume in order to block the camera. I know it seems pretty simple, but it's useful for if you don't have a physical object in the scene, but you still want the camera blocked. Maybe you want a window to be see-through. However, you don't want the camera to be able to go through it or you want it around the edges of a world or you just simply your existing collision on your objects don't provide you the camera control that you wish so you could use camera blocking volumes to basically give you a blocked out area now as these are brushes you have the different shapes you can use by default so that way it does not have to be a cube you can go and resize it as needed for the most part there are no, are no options you should adjust on the camera blocking volume but in terms of how it works, basically it creates a custom collision preset where the camera visibility channel is blocked and every other one is set to overlap. Now in terms of how that works, if we pull up our spring arm, which we're using to control our camera, it is using the camera probe channel to determine collision. And by default, that is what the camera blocking volume will block. So if you've changed your camera or you use something different other than the camera for your collision channel, you may wish to adjust it in here if you're using a camera blocking volume. But by default, your cameras are going to use the camera collision channel. So you can just simply drag in camera blocking volumes from your volumes and you have blocking camera volumes. They're pretty simple. That's it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.